Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles Sabans. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We we'll cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And I was here, maybe got a bit of breaking news here, but not sure it's shocking news. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and sub to the channel. Now, as you guys know, the number one story this offseason for the NBA, apart from the Olympics, has been uh, LeBron James and the Lakers. To a lesser extent, J.J. Reddick, but really... Bronny James has been the number one talking point this entire uh, offseason. And it looks like going into this NBA season is going to continue to be the case. Now, why is that? Obviously, Bronny James, who was picked as the 55th overall pick by the Los Angeles Lakers in the second round, is LeBron's first son. So with that, it's going to come a lot of attention, a lot of media hype. Uh, and it's been exactly that. Just yesterday, I saw an absolutely ridiculous post, I believe, on the account Basketball Forever, where they had an image of Clay Thompson and Bronny James. And they're like, Bronny James scored more points than Clay Thompson. You know what I wish they would have done? I wish they would have put up a graphic of Bronny James next to like John Moran. And I wish that uh, Bronny James probably scored like 37 points. And I wish John Moran scored like 16. And I and I and I and, I, and I, then I'll ask the question: so what what, what does that mean? That Bronny's what more impressive than John Morant, or he's better than like that, that. Like I was like, this is the clown. You know what I'm talking about? And I sent it to some NBA players. Even they were like, "Yo, what the hell is going on? Like, what in the world is going on?" But when we first got the news that Bronny was officially a Laker, the next question was, "Well, is he going to be playing with LeBron?" Now, prior to today, we've been hearing rumblings like, you know, he could start, he could start, he could play the first game. I start, he could play the first game for the Lakers on opening night. Opening night, some people are like what? Really? The 55th pick? Play the opening game? Really? They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be a possibility. Well, now it looks like it has officially been confirmed uh, from the NBA that we will see um, Bronny James and LeBron James play together in their first game on NBA opening night for the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Timberwolves. Before we even get into this story here, today's video is brought to you by sponsor, Game Time. With only four months left until the end of the year, I look forward to creating special moments with family and friends by attending various theaters, shows, plays, and sporting events. And when it comes time for me to look for tickets, I absolutely love to use Game Time. Game Time is one of the most reliable marketplaces for last minute tickets to the most popular events in sports, music, and theater in more than 60 cities across the United States and Canada. Game time saves me money, time, and peace of mind so I don't have to sort through thousands of tickets looking for the best prices or worry about whether or not if they're authentic or whether I'm going to receive them on time. Game Time Picks, one of my favorite Game Time tools, analyzes thousands of tickets for all of your favorite events near your location and finds you the best possible deal so you don't have to. For example, I'm looking forward to this upcoming concert at Madison Square Garden of one of my favorite composers, Hans Zimmer. Here, I can select the all-in price to see the total ticket price up front. No hidden fees. And now I can sort through the best possible deals I can find. I can choose the cheapest deals, the great deal, or the amazing deal. Once you select the ticket you want, you can use their panoramic seat view to ensure you know exactly what you're getting before you buy. And if you're like me and always make plans at the last minute, you can grab tickets up to 90 minutes after the event has started. So take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time, download the app, create an account, and use code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Again, create an account and use redeem code CLNS for $20 off. And remember, whenever you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. Okay, so let me show you the source that we got this information from. We got it from Bleach Report here. We want to put up the image for you guys here. It says, LeBron and Bronny very likely to be on the floor together early into the Lakers versus Wolves. And then it has next to the post, LeBron and Bronny plan to make history early Um into the regular season debut as the first father and son duo in NBA history to play in the NBA together. Together, Lakers want this to happen in the flow of the game and in a competitive environment. So that's according to um, Shams, right? That's according to Shams. So we've got that. I also saw before doing this show that King Griffey Jr. and his father are actually going to be in attendance. So this is definitely a moment that has been orchestrated not only by the Lakers, by the NBA, uh, and they want it to be a very special moment. So what are my thoughts on all of this? Well, 
if we look at it from the standpoint of LeBron or an NBA player playing with his, with his son in the NBA, uh, that's pretty, pretty cool. And it's unprecedented, quite literally. It's never happened before, right? There is no precedent for it. It's never happened before, and they're going to be making NBA history. So it is history, right? But the question then becomes, what comes after that? Number one. Number two, is this really what it's all for just to make that, just to have that moment? And ultimately, who benefits from this the most? Well, personally, I think the person that benefits the least from this is Bronny James himself. I think the people that benefit the most are his father and the Los Angeles Lakers, and to a certain greater extent, uh, the NBA. I think more people would be receptive to this uh, uh, idea if, at the very least, Bronny James was a good player. Not a great player, not an all-star caliber player, not a superstar player, but a good enough player. And all too often, what we've seen is that some people have tried to make excuses for, well, he's at a, and look, the thing is, people have said, what do you expect from a 55th pick? That's a fair question. The, the next question then becomes, why is the 55th pick getting so much attention? And you're like, well, he's getting all that attention because of his father. Well, if you're going to get that attention, people then begin to ask the question, why aren't you putting a spotlight on players that are actually good versus putting a spotlight on players that would generate clicks and headlines and revenue. Because there are a lot of good players in the NBA that don't even get close to the amount of coverage that Bronny James is getting. And the only reason he's getting that has nothing to do with his basketball game, has everything to do with who his father is. So therefore, it dilutes, number one, the product overall, because this is what you're promoting. And number two, it says a lot about the NBA personalities and companies that are promoting this and calling it news or some, uh, something substantive. And then you have bigger voices within the medium telling smaller voices, oh, you just need to shut up and like it. You need to shut up and like it. You don't need to have an opinion on it. Shut your ass up. Watch the game and be happy about it. Really? So the viewing public and the consumers don't have a right to have an opinion on a product that they patronize? Really? Is that what you're saying? Is that the type of messaging you want to send out to the masses? That you're not allowed to have an opinion on a product that you patronize? Really? So all you want is our money, but you don't want our opinions? Really? Is that what I'm meant to believe here? Well, certainly that's the message that you're sending. So to me, look, I think this is going to be exactly what is intended to be a spectacle. Um, I think that once history is made for the first time, meaning it has happened the first time, then after that, we've seen it. If you've seen it, if, if you've seen it once, you've seen it a hundred times. And it is clear to me that the Lakers definitely want to have this moment. And, um, you know, look, uh, this is what the Lakers are all about these days. I think they're not really focused on winning, uh, but they're definitely focused on stealing headlines and ensuring that they remain at the top uh, of the of new of the news shows every single morning. Uh, that they're, that they're the most talked about team, and certainly they've accomplished that. Uh, it is sad, however, to see that the Lakers now are being talked about because they become the showbiz team, but it has nothing to do with actual winning. It is a shame because the, the Lakers, for goodness' sake, have 17 championship. Uh, trophies right 17 like 17 so one would think they would be focused on more substantive issues but uh, apparently for them uh this is what it seems this this was this is what seems to be taking their attention uh these days so what i want to know from you guys number one what do you think about this moment uh do you think it's a good thing do you think it's a bad thing number two who do you think benefits from this moment the most do you think it's the lakers lebron or Bronny? and number three do you think at the end of the season when we look back, we'll be able to say that the Lakers had a successful season. Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We catch you guys on the next show. Peace.